of us remember those high school exchanges where some kid from someplace else would live with your family for a while and then you do the same where they came from? Sometimes it was another province, sometimes another country. But in Toronto this week, the exchange is between two schools in Canada which come from very different cultures. One of the schools is from a reserve in remote northern Alberta. The other is right in the heart of urban Toronto. And as Victoria Potashnik discovered, there's always a way to find common ground. Today, on the last day of their journey, Welcome to the CN Tower. The focus for these kids is perspective. The view of the north to the city, to the front, to the side, and for those of you brave enough to look, there are also two glass panels on the floor. Oh my gosh! Well, I think for us, like what the most moving part of this exchange is, is just getting to know the to getting getting to know the kids because it's just like making new friends. Just five days ago, half of these students were total strangers. These 11 students from Paul First Nation in Alberta boarded a plane for the first time to take part in a five-day exchange with students at Notre Dame High School in Toronto. Uh, really an opportunity for me as a teacher and also for our community to bring um, our curriculum uh, for Notre Dame alive. The exchange program, through the Society for Educational Visits and Exchanges in Canada, is funded through the federal government. It gives students across the country a glimpse of what life and culture is like for kids in different regions. Oh. This is me and Brayden at a power on our reserve. Oh, wow. And it gave students here a crash course in cultural studies. We learn so much about we're doing their Aboriginal Studies course and it's just putting that into action knowing that they're actual people and this culture is so alive and so beautiful. So that's something that I've really learned that, that it is present and current and something that we shall all appreciate. The First Nations students' performance at the school's multicultural festival that saw each room turned into a different ethnic region was a chance to share their culture. I'll burn it slowly and then uh, sleep. All you gotta do is just like wrap the smoke around you. For the First Nations kids, it was a chance to perform at something other than a powwow. I feel proud that I get to show people my dance. The biggest thing the Toronto kids learned? <laughs> when we honor everyone's differences, then we are That's able when we're in solidarity with each other. Yeah, we're, we're able to realize we're all the same right here. But the learning doesn't stop here. They've come to our home, and that's really special because we've like sort of invited them into our space, and then now we get to go into their space, so we get to know them in a new dimension. That's right. In about a month, the Toronto kids at Notre Dame will trade in this for this when they stay with the First Nations families on the reserve in traditional teepees for about a week. No feelings of trepidation from the Torontonians about that. We already know their families. We've seen pictures of their families. So actually hugging their sisters, hugging their brothers, becoming one as a community. How we got it? We are literally family. We're extended family. Um, their sisters are brothers to us now. There's nothing like this on the reserve. So it's a really good. This is a really cool and big experience for us. Proving that in just five days, your view can change exponentially.